Hey uh, everyone, uh, I'm uh, sitting here in my car. Uh, I have never done this before, made a video while I'm sitting in my car, but I thought I would take a few minutes because I'm sitting here pondering. Um, I'm sitting in a parking lot. Uh, my wife is in doing some grocery shopping. Uh, we're uh, following the uh, rules that one person goes in uh, because it just is less chance of somebody getting infected. So. Uh, and I'm more of a moderate risk because I'm diabetic even though I'm not on insulin and I've got a slight asthmatic condition so she's with her doesn't have that so she's at low risk so so I'm out here and just pondering and I'm just thinking it's a beautiful day here uh, in Ashland Ohio and it's sunny and it's probably uh, upper 50s I'm guessing and just seeing a lot of people out um, it's been cloudy here the last few days so I think that uh, that's why people have been out. But I've been pondering this thing about uh, being in relationship and thinking about freedom. Uh, I have a sense of being free today, that we're actually out and about uh, keeping our distance, just doing what we have to do. And we also uh, did some walking. Um, you know, uh, and thinking about our relationship with God and that, you know, God desires to be in relationship with each and every one of us. And because of that, that relationship cannot be coerced it's got to be freely chosen so because of that God also builds freedom into the into the universe um, in fact uh, John Polkinghorne who is a, a retired uh, uh, physicist Anglican priest says that God builds freedom into the universe itself that God allows the universe to make itself uh, over billions of years of, of uh, evolution uh, it's not that God is not there guiding, but that God, because God wants to be in relationship with all of creation, God allows the universe the freedom to uh, evolve and make itself. And because God wants to be in relationship with us, with human beings, God allows us uh, freedom as well, freedom to say yes or freedom to say no. And so I'm just sitting here pondering all of that <clears throat> in this time, is in this time of social distancing when we uh, uh, just think about the fact that we would love to get out again and be able to be in relationship um, and I think that's an important point that freedom and relationship go together and that's what what God uh, uh, wants from us he wants to be in relationship with us but God knows that that relationship can be cannot be genuine unless we freely choose uh, to be in relationship so the choice is ours God will not coerce us uh, but I think that something of that desire for freedom and that need for relationship is being revealed now in this time uh, as we uh, find that we can't be in the same room with people that we care about and can't do what we've done sitting across the table having coffee and conversation and then also uh, uh, just not necessarily being free to go wherever we want uh, it, it, it testifies to me something deep deeper about human nature that God has built uh, in in uh, in our midst and in in this time so um, just some ponderments and some thoughts um, and I think that's somewhat what it means to reflect being in the image of God that uh, what it means part of what it means to be in the image of God anyway is that is that we desire to be in relationship because God is inherently relational I mean that's what the doctrine of the Trinity is all about right that God is inherently relational and so therefore God wants to be in relationship uh, with us and uh, uh, yet at the same time, uh, freedom is necessary for genuine relationships. So just some ponderments as I'm sitting here in the car, enjoying the sunshine, enjoying the day, watching people uh, uh, go in and out of the store and uh, just do their thing. Uh, it seems like uh, we have these moments where, where we, are, we are able to get out and to fulfill uh, part of who we are as human beings. Uh, so just some ponderments, but just know today that God uh, loves you and desires to be in relationship with you and freely gives you the option of saying yes or no. Uh, and I uh, hope you'll say yes and continue to say yes. Um, Jesus Christ has come for us to be in relationship with us, to offer that salvation. Uh, and also, uh, but gives us the freedom to say no, gives us the freedom uh, to do otherwise. I, I think about the... the uh, one of the great stories, one of the great resurrection stories, the Emmaus Road, where the two are uh, traveling with Jesus on the road. Uh, 
they don't know it's Jesus and uh, they're talking about uh, the events of that day and uh, uh, Jesus uh, is opening to them the scriptures and they get to the little village of Emmaus a little place to stay for the night and the two visitors are prepared to stay and it looks as if Luke says it looks as if Jesus is going to continue on but they they uh, beg Jesus to stay and so he does he stays with them uh, and then of course at, at the breaking of the bread they recognize him but it's just a, a little interesting detail to me that Luke mentions that when they get to that end that it looked as if Jesus was going to continue on um, Jesus wants to be invited because Jesus uh, not because Jesus uh, uh, is is uh, stuck up and and feels that he sh he should be invited in, but rather he wants the invitation to be genuine. So uh, we don't want Jesus to pass by us uh, in these days. Uh, so we want to be in relationship uh, with him, and uh, and how great it is that we get to have that relationship even in this time, as I've said. Uh, in a couple other videos that that uh, in this time of social distancing how wonderful it is that our God is not a respecter of social distancing that our God is with us and near to us and here with us uh, and is surrounding us and so it's good news uh, so just some thoughts here uh, and I'm gonna let you go and uh, continue to wait uh, and uh, enjoy the discipline of waiting which is also a good thing to do in an, in an impatient world to learn how to wait uh, and uh, just sit uh, sit here with some with, with some of my other further thoughts. Take care. Have a great rest of the day.